This gift life, it's good to me. It makes me feel so good. I see with the sea. Hey, I'm Haley Vache, and welcome to the Skiff Life. On this show, we're going to be talking about boating, beaches, family and friend adventures, food, and lots of fun. It's time to go skiffing. Before we go on our adventure today, I'd really love to introduce you to my very special boat crew. This is Chase Bichet, my eight-year-old son. Can you say hi, Chase? Hi. And this is Ryder Bichet, five years old. Say hi to everyone, Ryder. <laughs> and then we have another very special being on the boat, and this is Lulu the Boston Terrier. Can you say hi, Lulu? Want to go on the boat? Want to go on the boat? Oh, yeah. And now from one of my favorite boating partners in the entire world, my husband, Vincent Bechet, and also the cameraman of the Skiff Life Show. Hey guys, <laughs> get on the Skiff. Ahoy mateys, woohoo! So one of my favorite snacks to take on the water is a salad on a skip stick. And you know how it is, you always get hungry on the water. It's always great to reach in that cooler and find something yummy. So. I'll show you the ingredients of my favorite little salad on a stick. Okay, we have our Greek olives, we have our tomatoes, and cucumber, and you need a string cheese. We cut our little string cheeses up in tiny little cubes. You're gonna need to get yourself a medium-sized shish kebab stick or toothpick. You throw your little, your little cheese on the stick. You got your tomato, your cucumber, a little drop one there, and Greek olive. Voila! You've got yourself a cute little salad on a stick. You don't need any new utensils or plates. Just reach in your cooler and grab your snack. All right, the family and I made it out to the Dunedin Causeway, which is such a popular place to launch a boat. Most of the time you'll see a lot of jet skis out here, but our skiff with its four inch draft has no problem getting in and out of the water. with my buddy Savannah and Peyton. So how this little octopus is gonna work, we're working on octopus today, you first make your head, so you just gather all your sand and round it off with your hands, and then we're just gonna pull out those little tentacles to the side. It's so fun! You wanna hear a really fun joke? How do you make an octopus laugh? Tentacles! Tentacles! Get it! Get it. Ah! <laughs> So I'm out here fishing today with my buddy Ryan Kelly and I just got to tell you I am an amazing fisherwoman and so is my husband. We're just such great fishermen and women. The only problem is we're not that great at catching stuff. <laughs> so I always love inviting out my really good friends that are really good at it. This is Ryan Kelly as I said before and he's got some amazing talent. I always see on social media these massive fishes he catches and I'm like Whoa! I need to go fishing with him! So what's your favorite thing to fish for out here, Ryan? Um, out here, I like to fish for the trout. We get a lot of trout out here, which are pretty good to eat, too. We made some homemade uh, trout ceviche not too long ago. What'd you so that was in? really good. Um, mangoes, jalapenos, cilantro, fresh lime juice, some salt and pepper. Just let it cook overnight. And it's absolutely the freshest and most delicious ceviche out there. Super good. Where's your favorite place to fish in this area? Um, right now we kind of hit the beaches. We were at um, North Point Honeymoon a lot this past week, fishing for snook and stuff like that. So, um, put out bait traps along the grass flats there and 
get a bunch of grunts in there and then go out and snook fishing. So Are you good? we got grunt noises. <laughs> I don't know about me. I mean, I know what they sound like, but what do they it's, sound like? It's kind of like a pig, actually. Like a... <laughs> I know what they sound like. I just want to hear you grunt. <laughs> yeah, you got me. I did it for you. So. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can catch out here today. Thanks, Ryan, yep, no for coming problem. out. Absolutely, it's a good time. <laughs> I'll go down. Yeah, it's getting a little, I got a little heavier. I'm going to go down in the grass, too. I think it's got a little bite there for a minute. No, no. Cheers, friend. <laughs> Want to see us next? Sure. <laughs> Salad on a stick, going right in. Want a bite? One really cool thing about Carolina Skiff is all the different options you have to pick out. You can have a center console or you can have a tiller, whatever you prefer. Alrighty, we're heading home now. We saw a couple big strikes of lightning and thunder in our way. We looked up on our radar and it is like four miles from where we are. So our safety tip of the day is when you see the lightning, go home. <laughs> nice when you have a husband that does all the work. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> Did you have fun on the skip today, Chase? Oh, yeah. How about you, Ryder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about this sweet little J16 we took out today. The J16 series is so stable and very easy to handle. This boat seats four people, and in my opinion, I really think it's the perfect starter boat for a family that's just starting to get out on the water. One of my favorite parts about this boat is the four inch draft. By having this inch four inch draft, you're not gonna get stuck on a sandbar hardly ever. You can go anywhere and do anything. One day when I was a little girl, I ran aground on my dad's boat. All I had to eat was Spam and a can of tuna. That's not fun at all for a little girl. With this boat, those sandbar situations are rarely ever going to happen. Thanks for joining us on the Skiff Life today. We hope you enjoyed watching and see you next time. Time to go skipping!